Well, back on March the 7th, I did my first video, and I believe I started about like this, and said this is their first attempt at a video for YouTube, and you saw all my garden out here with leaves on it to protect the soil. And then those leaves would get turned in with a rototiller or a little uh, plow, and that would be adding compost to your soil. There's a little bit of difference now that uh, I think the first video was 38 seconds long. You came see the compost pile because of all the nice garden plants growing. I just thought people might want to see what it looks like uh, about mid-season. We're not quite to mid-season yet, though. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, that's the valves that we use. It looks like a Rube Goldberg uh, invention, but it works. And right now you can see that valve on, and we're uh, ordering the corn. It's a lot better than holding the hose. So after about 20 minutes, because the drippers are putting down two gallons an hour, after 20 minutes you just switch to another valve, and then to another, and to another. And after a while, if you don't forget them, uh, everything gets evenly watered. This is a squash vine plant that uh, was a volunteer and it got squash vine borers in it. And I did something to it a month ago. And so far, it is still producing. I still have to do a little research to see whether I can tell you this. But that's my little thing on squash. Squash vine borers, the plague of all gardeners with pumpkins and squash. Uh, they can be devastating. Well, I thought I'd do a little follow up on these calla lily seeds. As they get bigger, The uh, leaf covering, uh, original covering on around the flower, can't contain all these seeds as they get bigger. I'll pull these up and let you look at them. This uh, has become sort of hard, but that's a ton of seeds in these jobs. Go over here to the non-variegated one. I don't know. We've never had both of these bloom at the same time. Hopefully they didn't cross-pollinate. I don't know whether or not uh, normally it takes something to pollinate uh, seeds to make them viable. So that will be a interesting to see. But anyway, that's a follow-up on the callus. Well, this is what we do with cantaloupe. These are a little sweeter than the first one we picked. And uh, we've got uh, three in the refrigerator that had no damage on them whatsoever. And all that will go in the compost pile. We also cut them up like this sometimes because when we bring a cantaloupe inside, uh, especially if it's whole and doesn't have a problem like some of these did, we wash the whole thing and and uh, wash it with a little scouring uh, pad type thing with clean water and then we can cut them up this way and eat them and you can just pick them up you don't need a fork bite what you want and put the rest in the compost pile and that can go in the refrigerator to keep a fairly long time with a lid on it <laughs> 